Hi, I'm Lori Burkhardt. I'm editor of ACA News, and I'm here today with ACA President Dr. Tony Hamm and ACA Chairman of the Board of Governors, Dr. Rick Bruns. And we're here because we just had a fantastic NCLC, and one of the big resolutions to come out of our House of Delegates was making Medicare parity a priority. The question, Dr. Hamm, is why now? Well, Lori, for about 40 years now, we've been operating, the chiropractic profession has been operating under a statute through the Social Security Administration called 1861R. As we all know, that limits us simply to detection and correction of a subluxation through manual methods. We believe that we, in our practices, do much more than just do uh, detection and correction of subluxation, so we think it's time to go ahead and change that statute. Thank you. And Dr. Bruns, there have been some issues with documentation, right? Uh, that's correct, and what we've done in the ACA is provide resources for our members and for the profession, helping them to communicate what we do in our offices every day, uh, helping them to conform to the standards expected by Medicare in order to get reimbursed, but also to tell the chiropractic story. Okay, thank you. And don't forget, you can follow ACA President Dr. Tony Hamm on Twitter, and look for your next issue of ACA News, because it's full of great information for the profession. Thanks.